Journalism and Communications. You're watching WUFT News. A sinkhole swallowed two homes and continues to grow in a Florida neighborhood. And a fatal crash involving a semi truck left one dead in Marion County. A severe thunderstorm. A severe thunderstorm warning is in effect right now for Marion County. Winds of 60 miles an hour are possible over the next 30 minutes, as well as some heavy rain and frequent lightning. I have more information coming up next, my forecast. And that crash on I-75 is our top story tonight. I'm Alexis Cruz. And I'm Leandra Larson. The crash happened on Interstate 75 south of McAnope. At the time, all three southbound lanes were closed. Marion County firefighters were dispatched around 12.30 p.m. The Florida Highway Patrol says the crash involved a semi-truck, a conversion van, and an RV, which caught on fire. One person died and at least three others suffered serious injuries. They were taken to Shands Hospital. Emergency responders have reopened one lane on I-75 South at this hour. And a Citrus County church leader has been arrested for allegedly possessing child porn and recording young girls in the bathroom. The suspect, Chad Robinson, worked at Seven Rivers Presbyterian Church. Another church member assessing his computer discovered the images. Investigators are now trying to determine where all of the images came from and if there are any victims he had contact with at the church. Robinson was released on bond but faces a number of sex-related charges. And a woman was killed in a hit and run earlier this morning in Marion County. FHP believes she was laying in the street at the intersection of Spring Road and Spring Loop Circle when a pickup rolled over her and failed to stop. The woman died at the scene and the Ocala Star Banner reports that a relative witnessed the crash, but it was too dark to notice much about the pickup driver. And a massive sinkhole swallowed two homes in Pasco County. The sheriff's office says a boat on the property started falling into the hole around 8 a.m. First responders were called to that area in Lando Lakes just before 7.30 a.m. The hole is estimated to be about 200 feet wide and filled with water. The residents had already left for the day, but firefighters had to rescue two dogs from inside of the homes. Authorities are trying to determine if there are any other homes in jeopardy at this time. What they're doing is they're going home to home right now within, the, within a set perimeter to determine if these homes are, any other homes are in danger. Now, authorities say a sinkhole had previously been filled in this location. There is no mandatory evacuation, but eight homes evacuated voluntarily. Crews are searching for survivors of a small plane that crashed late Thursday in a remote area near the Flagler St. John's County line. And a helicopter from Coast Guard Air Station Clearwater was searching overnight for plane survivors. The crash happened near Mar Marine Land. Authorities say two people may have been on board of the Piper PA-44. It left from Brunswick, Georgia and was headed to Ormond Beach. A witness told investigators the plane was flying low with the engine sputtering. And WFT has been working on a story comparing how long people wait in the emergency rooms in our area. The range of time people spend in ERs varies from hospital to hospital. WFT's Alexis Pastor joins us live from the newsroom with more. Lexi, Leandra, I looked at more than 10 hospitals here in North Central Florida. I found UF Health Shands had some of the longest wait times in our region. North Florida Regional Medical Center had some of the shortest. Still, some health executives say these numbers don't provide an accurate picture of what you might experience. So this whole billboard of, uh, you know, there's some important magical mystique about seeing a professional in 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever that is, is quite honestly... Uh, a marketing thing that is not helpful to you or me when we need emergency care. UF Health Shands does not advertise their wait times, instead taking holistic approach internally to improve wait times all around. Another interesting point, it all depends on how each emergency department calculates what they call a wait time. There are seven different types of wait time measurements according to Florida Medicare data. These include door to diagnostic evaluation, median time of arrival to discharge, and transfer from the ER to the hospital. On WUFT.org, we broke down the wait times of 15 North Central Florida medical centers based on data from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. You can sort by each of the seven criteria for determining what times. You can also see how many people leave the emergency rooms before seeing a doctor. Reporting live from the newsroom, Alexis Pastor, WUFT News. 
Thank you, Alexis. You know, Leandra, it was a lot drier today than other days this week, considering the severe weather that we had yesterday. Yeah, I noticed it was a lot warmer. Um, let's head up to UF forecaster Brian Bogiano, who joins us now from the Weather Center, to tell us exactly what we can expect for this evening. Well, the weather was quiet and it was dry until the past hour. In fact, in the last 15 minutes, a severe thunderstorm warning was issued for portions of Marion County. And this cell will be heading into Levy and Citrus Counties in the next 15 minutes. I'm going to zoom in on this cell right now and show you exactly where the warning is, what areas are impacted, because this is a pretty nasty cell. I'm going to show you. Severe